Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and um, this is another edition of how to build a custom gaming computer. Uh, so we're almost done, and if you haven't seen uh, the, the rest of this, you can go back to the playlist. Uh, you can look at all the titles if you have something specific, like how to install a CPU, or more about just the case, or you know, the last episode was installing the video cards, uh, video card, and my. Um, my video cards. I don't know what to call them. They're like video rendering cards. Uh, and now we're going to talk a little bit about cables. This is the back side of my uh, case. And uh, as you can see, I have run a whole bunch of the cables back here uh, because I, um, I want them out of the way. This would all be up in the uh, front of it if I didn't run it through the back. Now there is room to run it through the back here. Uh, now I've got a couple of other things here. Let's see. I've got one case fan that's already run up into, into there. And I'm going to have to run these other two case fans up in there. Um, so that... Uh, because I want to shut this up and then I don't want, necessarily want to open this again. Uh, tomorrow I have arriving some more parts. Um, and those parts are uh, one is a power bridge uh, to control all of the fans because I don't have um, enough power connectors on the motherboard to control all of these. And, um, and the power supply, I don't think I have on the power supply that, that I have any of these cables that would run these directly. Actually, I'm going to look real quick because I know, I know the cables that are in there don't, but I have this other batch of cables here. And um, I don't see any that are that small, though. These are not, uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't think so, but just thought I would look. So, okay, these are undone now. And I have to figure out where I want to put this power bridge in here. And so this, is, this one is really about cable management and closing up the case. Um, so... You know, and on the other side here, I've got uh, got all this out here too. So um, now I'm thinking that see, I've got all of these fans here. Maybe I should just pull them all out right here. All of these extra fans that I've got. I'm going to control one of these from here, and the other one I'll be able to just turn on and off. Um, so I'm controlling this one and this one by the computer. And uh, if they're variable, I don't know whether or not um, the tachometer will work on uh, these fans, being that they're only 3-pin. I don't know if it needs a 4-pin for it to work or not, um, or a 3-pin. I just, I just don't recall. And I know that the CPU fan, that it's going to know how many RPMs it's doing, and it has a, um, and that one's 4-pin. So, we'll see. Uh, and I plugged in one of the front case fans up into here, and I'll let those be controlling the, um, the, um, the other fans. I don't know whether I'm going to need all these fans or not, but I bought the bridge anyway. And I'll be able to put it all together, and uh, maybe that'll be another episode after the computer's up and running uh, to, to see the effects of a bridge um, and what the pluses and minuses of it are. Um, and a bridge simply is that these connectors that I'm going to take, I'm actually going to take one of these right here, and uh, we're going to plug it into the bridge. It's going to be a little block that goes down like this, and it's going to have six connectors that are uh, three or four pin. I think three pin. And uh, I'm going to plug all of these into it and then um, uh, it'll power all of them. Simple as that. It's just, uh, it's like it's like getting a power strip for your computer. You know, instead of plugging it straight into the wall, you go through the power strip so that you get the extra uh, slots. Well, and more than that, you get some protection out of it. Um, so, okay, I'm going to take these extra ones. So that one's plugged in, that one's plugged in. 
This one is, where is it going to? Holy cow. I see it here. And did it get all tangled up with all this stuff? It appears so. Okay. I've got to pull these ones out. Um, either that or put them all into a spot behind here where I can put the bridge actually behind the, the uh, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll be able to put the bridge behind. Although I assume that I'm going to want to, that I'm going to want to, golly, all these cables here, it's a rat's nest. I assume that I'm going to want to put, um, that I'm going to want to screw the bridge down. I don't know if it has a screw hole on it or not. But um, rather than leave it float, um, may not be so good having it float. Um, okay, so those two fans, and then I've got two more fans up there that all need to be hooked up to this power bridge. And you know what I'm going to do? Here's exactly what I'm going to do. The power bridge is going to run in the back side. See how much room is here? here? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it on the other side over there. And so, I am going to put these through, and um, this one through here. I know I just pulled it out of there. And then uh, one of those is going straight up into here, which is fine. And then, uh, okay, so I'll, when we turn around, we'll deal with that other stuff. Let's get these other cables out of the way that we can. And uh, so anything that's not being used on this side, like this one, I want to put it through here and get it out of the way. We're going we're gonna to tie them down on the back side here. And um, so, okay, this other PCIe one. And I, and I, try and get them as logical as possible for going through here uh, where they're not going to mess as much stuff. You know how it gets whenever you get that rat's nest of cables on cables and then you go to pull one through and you have to move a whole bunch of others? I hate that. Um, okay, so this one here, golly that just seems like such a long cable to plug in right there. I know what it's for. I know why it's that way. Okay. Um, and then that goes up to the top. And this is actually going to go, okay, this is great. So I am actually going to unplug this and I'm going to pull it through there. And uh, then because the, the, the power bridge for the fans is the same type of connector, and so I'm going to run all of this up there now. And then we'll just plug that other one in on the other side. We'll rearrange if I need it later. And then, okay, so I have, look at that. This is getting pretty good looking. Um, I'm not happy with this cable just hanging out here. It's not going to hurt anything. Same with this one, unless it gets caught up in the fan. Um, oh, you know what? Look at this. Can I do this? No. Of course not. Of course that wouldn't work. Boy, it is so close to working. I wonder. I wonder if I can make that work. where it sits up in there and then comes down here and then down into oh. <laughs> literally like one inch away one inch well you know what you guys are all going to call me crazy I'm going to move the fan <laughs> I am. I am going to unmount this fan real quick. 
and uh, I'm going to rotate it. That cable keeps getting in my way, and I don't like it. So, now you guys may all call me anal and stuff about this, about this type of thing, but here's the deal. I treat my business the same way and everything, and this is how you get ahead, is by, um, you know, doing things a little bit different, and um, let's see, maybe I can manage this cable now too by... Look at that. I turn it just like that. This other cable cinches up to double win. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty easy. And then, now, that's long enough to, to, um, to fit down there, right? So, okay, that's awesome. I am happy about that. Now, let's get this... Uh, is that not going to work? No, it is square. Okay, it will work. I've screwed and unscrewed these so many times that um, who knows if I'm going to strip these out. These just go into plastic. Just got to get that first one in and the other ones will be easier. Okay, I like it. That is, I'm happy about that uh, because I really didn't like the way that that was turning out. Ooh, that one is stripped. That's the lowest setting I can go on. Okay. Yep, I was wondering when. Um... Oh, that one's stripped too, and it's on the lowest setting. Okay. Well, okay, will it hold? Okay, yeah, it does. I've got more, um, I've actually got more fans here. So I've got these right here that I bought, which I could put in, and I'm gonna swap these out. If these are noisy at all, I'm swapping them out. So um, I want, I don't want the, the, the hum of fans, and in fact, the, um, this right here might be noisy because the blades are so shallow. And I've got here, I'll show you something else here that I've got. This is, I had to buy a new cooler for the, for the uh, new, or er, my old computer. And um, this one right here has deeper fins. And I bought this, um, it sits upright and has two fans on it. And I bought this um, for that. Um, and uh, it's, got, um, it's got fins that are deeper, which allows it to go a little lower RPM to, to, for the volume of air it moves. There's a, there's a whole equation on that. And uh, so, okay, now that is cool because I just got that through there. And... It all still going to work, and now I plug this in down here again. And uh, golly, that's a tight, tight spot to plug into with those parts there. There we go. Got it. Okay. Now, I also want to see if I can do something about this cable right here. I really, really don't like the fact that it's going all the way out here over the fan. I think that I can put it in here, and uh, I think I'm gonna do that. Um, uh, I'm gonna do that, and it'll be, <laughs> um, so, uh, right after this little break. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so, now, I, uh, am, I got a couple more things in mind uh, going over all the cable stuff here. The, another thing is, is that I'm looking at this cable right here. This is sloppy ass to have this cable just going straight across here. And uh, so I am going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to pull out this fan and I'm going to rotate it uh, to see if I can get this up to this corner here. And then I can just run it down the side here. Uh, and uh, be out of the way again. Um, so uh, I think that will be good. Uh, but first, I'm going to deal with this right here. And um, 
I really wish that I had another way to do this cable. Um, I don't like how it's going across here. I mean, I can get it so that it comes down into here uh, and goes up through. Um, I wish that it was a little bit longer and that, um, that I could get it to go through this down here um, and come up and out, but uh, I don't think that it is long enough to do that. I, I already tried that once, I think. But I'm going to take a look at that real quick. I think I already tried that, but I don't remember 100% for sure. And let's see here. Well, at least it'll be easy to try. And um, so, yeah, and then coming up through here, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to reach. So, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I am, where am I going to put this? Am I going to run it back through there? Or can I run it on the back side of this here? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is on the back side up there? There's nothing, but there is another hole up here. So, I wonder if it could be run up. Huh, I wonder if it would fit up through there. That would be interesting. Um, okay, so here's what, one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out this plate up here so that I can um, run it through there. I'm going to put in the other plate here, this one that is meant for it, and no, oh, we have to loosen up this <laughs> magnetized screwdriver for the win. Okay, those of you who told me that magnetized screwdriver was very, very bad, I want you to explain. Tell me why it is that's very, very bad. I think that you are wrong. And um, so, but I am willing to be wrong myself. I feel like I'm right, though, here, and uh, so explain it to me if you're uh, so sure that the um, that a magnetized screwdriver is very, very bad in a computer. Uh, back in the days when there was CRTs, um, you know, you would be very careful because you would, you would mess up the colors of your... Um, You'd mess up the colors of your of your monitor when uh, you got a magnet too close to it, and so that was very very bad. And um, but that's not what happens these days. These days we all we all have our flat panels and and um, stuff, so it's not it's not the same deal. Um, okay, so. Now, uh, let's see here. That go in there. Uh, okay, now I'm going to try seeing whether or not I can put it up through there. And what this looks like. I don't wonder if it would fit up through there and then down here and then you know it's still not gonna but whether or not it would look like up in there and then here we go through here like recommended with the this has got this little notch on it here which I'm gonna hook in to this like that. Here, I'll show you what I did there. That'll get into focus there. So, the 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 notch right here fits in. It's, it's indented like this side. And so, um, maybe that's as good as we're going to get on that portion. Um, you know, I don't like that it's out here at all like this, but 
Maybe. Stick it up in there like that. Hmm. That may work. And then I plug this into the back. And voila. Hey. I love this stuff. Now I'm liking it. I can tell you, I do not like building computers. <laughs> but now that it's getting done, I'm liking it much better. Okay, so I think uh, next I'm going to um, unscrew this fan and rotate it around. I really hope that these fans are quiet because I can tell you that I'm not a fan of noisy fans. <laughs> no pun intended. I really hated how much noise came from my previous computer. It bugged the crap out of me. And uh, I mean, I seriously mean that. I, I was very, I was very irritated by it. Um, just had to learn to deal with it. Now, taking this and Looks like it. Looks like it will work. Okay, so now just need to screw that up there again. And uh, I need to get this one behind here now. That one's going to need to stay up behind there. Otherwise, I'll be unhappy about that one. Hmm. That's interesting. Because it's going on the back side of this, I want to put it up on the top of this. But I don't know that it will. Hmm. Is that too close? There is a little bit of room there. I can make that work. So I can slide that wire up in there. It just doesn't quite want to go up in there. I want to break this. I'm trying to be really careful here. Yeah, I'm just not sure that it's going to go up in there. I'm a little bit worried that now that having this this way, that this other wire up here could get caught in the in the fan blades. Okay, here's what I'm going to have to do. This thing has got to come back out because it's partially over that wire. And so we'll put this back in after. Um, after this is done. Boy, this, this fan, I don't like this CPU fan. Okay, now, put that that way. Will this go up here? Hmm. You know what? Here we go, unscrewing more stuff. See, the thing is, I'm going to get this to work. I am. I am going to make it work. and putting this up over the top of this other fan here. I unscrewed it all but one screw so that I could 
get the wire up on the back side of that. Like that. Okay. There we go. Now, when I screw this one in, Screw that one back in. The, uh, the wire is up top there and out of the way. Yay! Okay, let me put one screw up in there. getting these wires cleaned up. Now, gotta get this one up in there too. There we go. Okay. Sweet. This is working out a little bit better than I anticipated actually. I didn't know it was gonna come together this good. So, Another script screw. And I think that we can only go through these maybe once or t you know a couple of times before um, they uh, start stripping out, even on the low setting. And so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do them all the way in anymore um, because then I'll, I'll completely obliterate the threads on them. Just get them tight, and the threads are fine on the screws themselves, it's the plastic pieces of the rest of it that are not okay. And, uh, so. Okay, we are well on our way here. Okay, so now, um, all these are just out of the way, which is so excellent, and then I, uh, if I was going to get really anal, I'd get some hot glue <laughs> and, uh, and maybe attach this cable up in here, but I think it's going to be fine this way. And look at that. That is about as out of the way as I can get it. I like that. I'm happy with that. Much more happy than I thought I was going to be with it. So, okay. You know, these cables don't have to be this perfect. Um, I am uh, being just a little bit anal about it. Um, but um, that's just me, so um, it's just how I am choosing to do it, and you can do it however you want. But if I was um, if I was building computers for other people and stuff, they would get something very very close to this quality. So. Uh, if I were doing it. In fact, I used to do a lot of computer work and um, that is um, how I, I learned to do all this stuff. I started doing it on the side, actually. Uh, okay, so that is all of the fans here. And um, I don't see any need to try and cinch this one up. It's not in the way at the moment. There's nothing else. There's just this one cable left on this side, which I'm not sure what I want to do with it, whether I want to push it through to the other side or, um, you know, actually I think that there's room down below on this one. 
and let's see if I were to yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna pull this cable off and what if I were to put in here like this and then the rest of this cable stuff up under there won't hurt anything it's not up into the fan and this also can be stuffed up in there there's no cooling fins on the bottom of that drive or anything and so I don't think that's going to hurt anything and uh, look at that look at how clean that looks now I mean compared to what it was that is um, amazing so it's just that one cable right here going across and uh, nothing else so and that leaves plenty of room right here I can actually mount another SSD drive um, uh, right here and then I've got a power another power connector right there for it if um, that's what I want to do and um, that looks lovely at the moment okay so let me uh, turn this around and um, we're going to cinch up the other side and I'll be right back. All right, got the case turned around and uh, this is a huge rat's nest. I am pulling out the fan, um, the fan wires here because uh, they're going to all hook into the bridge and um, okay that one's only going to reach to there which means the bridge is going to mount right up in here and um, so just uh, put it in like that and then that this and this these are all four going to work right here and, and we'll well, let's see if it'll attach right in here. I'll uh, use a zip tie or something like that to cinch it down on here. Um, and uh, so, okay. Now, all the rest of this, let's set this up here for the moment. All the rest of this, what am I going to do with all of this? Um, I've, got, I've got these right here, which are the... Um, Okay, now I was going to, I got to plug in one of these, and then this is also going to go in with the uh, with the uh, bridge. So this is. Oh my goodness, really? It got put one of the wires got put through this. Wires are so damn messy. It's funny. I mean, it's not, but look at that. I got put right through that. And so, I'm going to fix that, I guess. It's really kind of in a precarious spot where that goes through. Okay, so now. Is that okay this is gonna connect to the bridge and so is this down here so okay you know which one was it was it this one that I just pulled out oh holy cow I think so and then it goes down into here Turn underneath all this. Keep all this absolutely as clean as possible. Oh my! So, um, you can see a lot, quite a lot of time can be spent on cable management and stuff. But if you're someone like me who actually ends up dinking around with stuff uh, having all these cables 
you know, uh, cinched up. It, well, it's both a pain in the ass and a blessing. So it allows you to see everything and get to everything easy. Holy cow. But it's also, you know, then you end up having to uh, undo stuff every time and, you know, the zip ties. I like those zip ties that came with the other cables because, man, this thing is hard to plug back in because they are, um, they're like zip ties, but you can undo them. So, there we go. Okay. Fine. Gee whiz. Okay, so, yeah, that goes through pretty nicely. It's not bad. Um, all of this stuff, I wish that wasn't around that, but it's that way now. And this stuff looks ugly. Holy cow. Yeah, well, it's the way it is. So, now this is going to go up with that. So, let's um, run it through here. And, uh, oh, that's one of my alarms. Got to go do something. I'll be right back, everybody. Don't go anywhere. Okay, welcome back. Had to uh, go take care of an order for the store. So I'm actually able to see it behind the camera. You see me looking sometimes. Um, and in fact, did another one just come in? No. <laughs> you see me uh, looking that way sometimes uh, to see uh, if there's orders. And um, so I, uh, I monitor that and you know, watch for um, customers. And uh, we do that um, in the store. We're there 19 hours a day. And I uh, wish it was 24, but we just can't do 24. 19 hours a day. So, uh, okay. Now, that other one, this one right here, it needs power. And then, that's an awful long cable, but that's what we got, okay. Um, so, I guess we're not gonna cinch that one up fully until I've got the bridge in there. And the rest of these, you know, we're gonna, um, this right here, I actually am going to pull it tight over this, and um, I think that's what I'm going to do. Pull it tight over all of it. We'll see how well this um, is going to fit on. Okay, so for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Pull it down tight over um, through here. Look at that. There's this uh, little inlet right here where it looks like I can just strap that right in. And then pull that tight. This all needs to. Holy cow. <sighs> Okay, well these come undone, so I'm going to go ahead and do this up right here, right now. And uh, let's see here. So it looks like you hold this in, tighten this down. And then, voila! Okay, so that's tied up there. Now, okay, the, um, this just all looks so ugly, but it is what it is. Okay, now this is probably going to be tied up. Oh, I don't have another tie-up strap right there. That's too bad, because that looked really good. There's another one down here, and uh, so reusing these and gonna that should be tighter. OK. 
Okay. So. Now, got these fan stuff that's all going to go up here. I'm going to, um, just for the moment though, stuff them up into there to hold them in. Okay, so now, the only one I'm concerned about is this one. That looks like a mess, but I'm not sure I need to tie it down. Let's try and put the back on and see what happens. We'll just see if I even can. Okay. So, let's see here. Is this the correct way? I'm not sure. Antec design and been a little while since I pulled this off. Hmm. It doesn't like all these cables out here. Let's see here. And how does that fit in? It's not too happy about all these cables, I don't think. <laughs> this is like packing a suitcase. distribute those a little bit underneath there so that this doesn't pop out. Hmm. Well, let me uh, see here what I can do to make this not so poofy at that spot. understand how this, because um, that doesn't go inside, it just sets in there. So there's nothing really holding it down there. That is kind of interesting. screws in and just see what it looks like. I think it looks pretty ugly itself. It does not feel right. But let's just see what happens when I got a couple of these in. And will they even go in? They are in. It um has just a little bit of a bulge down here. Uh, it is in though. I think that that um, I'm gonna have to rework that just a little bit so that it's thinner. Um, I think that it's just a little too thick on the cables there, and uh, I think that I can iron that out. Um, and I'm not gonna do all that on camera. That's just a bunch of like doing a puzzle. It'd be like watching somebody do a crossword puzzle. If this isn't already like watching somebody do a crossword puzzle on uh, camera. And uh, so, you know, not all that interesting. Um, okay, so that's like that. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on like that uh, for the moment uh, for, because uh, I don't need it to, um, to, uh, and look at how clean it looks on this side. That is awesome. 
Uh, I don't need it uh, to be back open until tomorrow. So we'll just see how that does. And um, I don't think it's going anywhere. If it pops off, it pops off. There's not, it's not gonna cause me too much grief. So, okay, well, I'm just checking over all of the stuff here before I um, turn it on. And I actually am not gonna put this other cover on yet. Um, I am going to fire this up, connect it up to the computer and fire it up to, um, to see how well uh, it's working. Make sure that there's one of the common things that, that happen whenever you build a computer is that you'll accidentally get a wire up pushing up against a fan or something. These all seem to be doing okay. Um, yeah, they all seem to be okay. I can't see this one because we got the hard drives in the way. Um, or there could be other issues and so the likelihood is is that whenever I turn this on I'm going to want to make sure that the CPU uh, is uh, is uh, the, the, this this is the most important fan out of the whole thing that the CPU cooler is coming on and I'm going to want to listen for tones because uh, if I did anything wrong there's a buzzer in here and um, I don't know where it is it's all the way down in here a little piezo buzzer and um, and that will give me the beeps the air tones and so if anything is not plugged in correctly, which I now see something that's not plugged in correctly, this cable came out. Um, I had been missing a hard drive. Um, so, wow, I wonder if those should, yeah. It's too bad that that doesn't clip in. I might just take this, this darn, uh, you know, hot swap thing out. I don't, I'm not really going to be hot swapping my drives. Um, and so, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to boot it up, see what happens. And um, I, I hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. And um, we'll just take it from there. So, okay. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure whether or not I'm going to show that on camera. I, um, I've tried to, to think about figuring out how to film that so that you can see it but the fact is is that this side is going to be up against the wall otherwise I have to re rewire my whole computer desk and um, I don't think that I want to do that so um, that is that I, I guess what I can do if I decide to film any more and show this uh, I'll use one of the handhelds and um, so it, um, I think it's ready to go, and uh, I'll have to get into the BIOS. Uh, the BIOS has a whole other story. I don't think that I'm going to be recording how to do the BIOS, um, and uh, but basically it should be all automatic. The only thing I may need to do is to tell it which drive is the boot drive, uh, which drive to boot off of, since I already have an OS on here. If uh, this was a brand new build and I uh, didn't have any data on the hard drives, then uh, it would just be whichever one comes up first as long as they were all the same type and you didn't need one in particular to be a certain way. So, okay, that is uh, the end of this episode and uh, there will be more in the series. Uh, so I will um, go over the bridge, the power bridge, and uh, then other things hardware-wise that I end up doing from the future here on out, uh, I will add them to this playlist. And uh, we'll just keep it going from there. I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. Oh, and wish me luck. Hopefully. If you're seeing this video, it means this computer works. Because now that I tore apart my other computer, I have nothing to edit these videos with, except for this. <laughs> so if you see this, you'll know I was successful. Take care, everybody. Like that, don't you? See my eyebrows are even black. Have my empty.
put it on. Makeup. Yeah, it's not really dyed. The eyebrows aren't. Yeah, like these. I was listening to dubstep before a lot of you were wearing diapers, alright? You like, like, like that, don't you?